Luke chapter 2, the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in the Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds return glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. So today, what I'm going to do is I bought a Gucci shirt from Poshmart, and I want to go through the process of seeing if it's authentic and it's really hard to tell on the site and i paid 175 dollars for it so originally the seller said that it was that the shirt cost 1200 dollars, and you know on poshmark you just i have bought a lot of stuff that i've just not really been happy with i've not had a good experience on poshmark even though i sell on poshmark I feel like I sell things that I would want to buy, not things that I wouldn't want to buy. And putting stuff that's not authentic on Poshmark is just prevalent. And so I thought it would be fun to go through that process today and just buy things. I wanted to buy something from a YouTuber and I wanted to buy something, a luxury item, and just kind of go through the process of looking at those, rating those, and seeing if the one item is authentic. And so this dress that I'm actually wearing, so spoiler alert, I bought from Remy Cruz. And Remy is a YouTuber. And her channel is Miss Remy Ashton, I believe. And I'll put her information here somewhere. And so yeah, it's going to be a fun video for me. I hope you guys enjoy. So Let's get to it. I am about to go ahead and try on this dress that I bought from Remy Cruz and show you guys how it fits. Now it is a size 10 and I would think that it would fit, but I'm not for sure. I guess that doesn't clip anywhere. It just ties together. And so yeah, let me get this on. It's a really pretty olive green and I like that it's a long sleeve. And as I mentioned before, I either need to find a pen for here or put a cami on underneath. But let me get that on so you guys can see. Hopefully, it's going to fit. Okay, I was able to tie it a little bit more here. But it is a little bit long on the sleeves for me. But being able to tighten it more here allowed this to just fit better and better up here. And it has this little cross this cross right here buttons right there and it's loose because it's just a little big for me 
but overall it's a really pretty dress i'm really happy with it i thought i was gonna have to iron it but once i got it out of the package and let it hang for a while and it does smell like lysol because my husband sprayed it down with lysol <laughs> it does seem like the wrinkles came out and it fits a whole lot better i really am happy with the dress it's beautiful and as i mentioned it was new with tags so i would say the only drawback is that it is a little big for me but it doesn't look bad i mean it's it actually i think is good that it's a little bit looser i think anything tighter would just not look as good and so i mean i do have those I do have some baggy areas, but again, I think it's okay. And even if I didn't want to button it, if I just wore a cami underneath, I think it would be fine. Really happy with this purchase. And again, the color is just beautiful. I really like the color. Okay, and so hopefully y'all can see. Oh my goodness, my hair. <laughs> there, it has the little pleating there which that's really cute so honestly i mean i would say it fits perfect i mean if i bought this off the asos website and went down a size i think that it would fit better on my waist but i don't think i would like the way it looks on my on my high knee because this one is pretty good i feel like i can also put a belt on with this and have it cinched here instead of using this but I don't know if you can see that it's kind of gathered right here because I do have it like really tight, tighten more than I think it's supposed to be. So there and there it kind of looks a little bit, but overall I think it's, it looks pretty. It's a pretty dress. Okay, someone went and took off that dress and washed it because I'm not saying that it did, but to me it smelled like smoke. And so I went ahead and washed it and just to be on the safe side and I'm really like sensitive to smells. I think I've mentioned that before and it just smelled like something. I don't know if it was smoke or not, but I washed it. Now it's hanging in my closet. I just changed into something more comfortable. So now we're going to look at the Gucci sweatshirt. Okay. So here's the sweatshirt that I bought. And I'll put in some pictures from the Poshmark listing. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to take some pictures and kind of show you all the different aspects of the shirt that I see and trying to determine if it's authentic. And I'm going to say that based on everything that I have found, well, let me just show you guys the comparison and then we'll talk through them. Okay, so in this first picture, you can see that the threading is a different color and also the lettering seems to be off here and definitely can see it here in the comparison. Mine is on the bottom. This is the authentic tag, and this is mine. As you can see, you can't see anything in the back. And then here is the deer. The deer is not available on the site, so it's really hard to compare. But you can see the body type is different. And then I tried to get the double Gs. Mine is on the left. And then here is the label. And so... Also on the tag, it says that if it's fake, the threading goes through and mine, the threading does not go through. So, so I want to start with the label on the outside. And it has the label here in red. And as you can see, it does have the lines going down. I don't see any other lines like any vertical lines the made in italy you know sometimes the difference is they say it can look very block like 
here's the back side of it and then one of the things that i did see also was that they said that the red threading sometimes goes through and as you can see it doesn't on this one and then the extra ribbing here but it doesn't have it on the sleeves there's the sleeves and then also not on the hem the sweater itself is pretty heavy like it has a heaviness to it it doesn't feel cheap <laughs> there's the inside of it and the stitching and so let's look at this little embroidery i mean honestly it looks pretty good has a little knot right there and then there are the double g's and i had a really hard time seeing this online like how far apart they were because of the way the sweater laid but if I put my hand underneath and just spread it out like that, they do look like they're apart. And then this is what it looks like turned inside out. You can't see the deer embroidery except for very little threading there. And then the double G, you can see red threading there. So that's that's pretty interesting there then let's look at the wash label now I did go ahead and wash this because it came in the mail and I just felt safer washing it so there is the tag and it's supposed to be long it doesn't have any black threading on it or anything And I did notice on the wash tag that it's not attached. See, it's just anchored here and here. This is where I kind of felt like it was a little bit off because of the G just doesn't look authentic. But the lettering look real thick. And then there's the wash labels i know on i know that on the t-shirt it actually has the style number on the inside of these two and this one does not so let's see there we go sorry i was going to the this thing has a book. Uh, so that's what that looks like. And then just the inside, the way it looks. The inside. Here, so that's the way that looks. So you all can tell me what you think as far as if you think it's authentic or not. I think that Gucci has a lot of variations that it's really hard to really know if something's authentic. But at the end of the day, I just can't see somebody selling a $1,200 Gucci sweatshirt for $175. That just doesn't register with me. Now I know that we are in hard times and people maybe are trying to liquidate. But I would say if it's authentic, you could get a good $500 for that sweatshirt easily. 
And the reason that I didn't return it was because he didn't indicate in his listing that it was authentic. He just listed it as a Gucci sweatshirt. But when you use the name to me, you're indicating that it's authentic. And also, I did search for replica Gucci sweatshirts online and they average about $100 if you want one and I think you can find some shirts for $30 and so I'm just gonna keep it and I'll wear it and you know <laughs> it's not like I haven't bought anything that wasn't exactly <clears throat> hints in hand <laughs> that's not exactly from the designer but I really do enjoy my authentic items and I'm really, I'm looking forward to the end of year gift that I got for myself that should be here fairly quickly. And I'm excited to share that with you all. So that'll do it for me and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.